Hey Virgos, welcome back, welcome back. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit that subscribe button. Uh, just so you know, I am not doing personal readings at this time. Um, so yeah, please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. And uh, hello everyone. Hello everyone. Hmm, okay. Well, looks like Spirit wants to get started right away, despite my uh, introduction. So let's see what's going on stabbed in the back heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack he's on a ring many options a decision unconventional string along in a one night stand what the and kisses whoa oh what to make of this spirit what is going on here okay somebody obviously is feeling stabbed in the back in regards to something there's a little bit of heartbreak or pain or someone's feeling a sense of deception there's separation um shocking unbelievable um, okay I feel like this reading is gonna be something Virgo I feel like it's gonna be something um, okay yeah give me a second <laughs> oh my goodness what the heck uh, somebody feels like they've been strung along Okay. by someone who was being very affectionate towards them okay um i wonder if, if is it you virgo where you're feeling like somebody um maybe had a lot of other options and um was maybe being very loving towards you okay um giving and receiving and falling in love but then um gosh this is crazy there was some deception okay this is the energy i'm picking up here all right there was some deception are you questioning virgo if somebody really loved you uh, and this could be reversed as well you know gosh um i'm f okay they're telling me that th there could be a leo or I can't make it out I, I don't know if this is another person feeling this way feeling like you were lying about your feelings or that you separated all right um you know what I'm gonna just tell you right now there's somebody here who feels very positive um that this is something that occurred that some somebody here feels very positive that there was deception in regards to a relationship or or a connection with someone okay i don't know if that's you and i don't know if that or it's the other person or both of you feel like stabbed in the back like i i'm just hearing i thought we were i thought we were loving each other i thought we were falling in love i thought things were i didn't believe that um you had other options I, I feel like you maybe you were stringing me along were you it was it only a one night stand for you did did it not mean anything to you um and, and now i feel like i've been stabbed in the back i don't know who's feeling that way it could be both of you it could be one of you you or the, another person okay and i feel like whoever this is they're feeling quite positive that this was all a lie okay they're feeling that it might have been all a lie and that they're free from this now this is heavy duty i'm getting so much leo okay this is the message okay now it must be somebody's birthday is august 19th it's a end of end of august leo hmm okay listen to me virgo if you were involved with a leo I feel like this is the energy between you and a Leo or someone's specifically whose birthday is August 19th. Okay, I am going to leave that there because I don't like the energy of that. I feel like there's a lot of pain um, and heartbreak in regards to that. So, hmm. I don't usually do this. I don't usually say I'm not going to continue on in a reading with something like that, but uh, I don't feel comfortable 
<laughs> continuing on with that so and I'm not it's not that I'm looking for rainbows and unicorns but I feel like if that's a message for you if that's something that you resonate with and you understand um, I feel like there's a heavy duty um, something painful that needs to be addressed I feel like there's um, needs to be addressed further than tarot because that feels um, like a shock kind of thing okay Whew. I gotta I gotta um, clear my energy so give me just a second here I need to uh, clear my energy here because all of a sudden that just if I, I felt like wounded I felt somebody wounded okay that's a lot of drama there <laughs> And uh, if, if you're in a position where you feel like you were stabbed in the back and, and somebody just turned on you, um, please, you have my um, my power and my strength that I send your way because that I know that could be extremely painful. And I hope that you are able to like seek some solace in regards to that because that that felt like a shocking like that came out of the blue. That's something, and it of course doesn't have to be a Leo, but that's something that I feel for you came out of the blue. And that's going to need a little more care. Um, you're going to need a, a little more care than what I can offer here. Sorry. I got to keep moving here. Okay. Let's get, let, let me try. If the energy flows back in, then obviously I have to continue the reading. But if it doesn't, then um, it's not meant for me to continue. Okay. So you have Cupid's arrow here. All right. Have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting, and hesitation. And you've got the butterfly, okay? Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth, okay? Well, this is good. This is a positive start. You know, you guys, I am not, like, you've listened to my readings before. And I address some pretty, you know, things come up. We talk about it. And I don't know why, but... That there that I just had going on there, that, that did not feel good. That I just did not feel that energy felt. <gasps> See? Sorry. <laughs> I think they want me to stop talking about it. Okay. So you have the chaser. Chaser in a relationship. Fear of abandonment. Okay. So somebody's going to be chasing after you here, Virgo. That's what I feel. Um, somebody is... Um, oh, there's a surprise coming to you. Surprise invitation or a meeting. Okay. Um, someone's hesitant at this time, but it's going to start moving forward. Cupid's arrow. Somebody's getting um, a shot in the heart. <laughs> a shot in the heart of love. Okay. There's a relationship that's going to evolve to the next phase. There's a healing of the inner child and growth, okay? Somebody has a strong fear of abandonment and is possibly, well, not possibly, but I feel like is getting into a position to heal this, okay? Um, I don't feel like someone's chasing after you out of a fear of abandonment that they're going to lose you. Um, I feel like someone truly does care for you and loves you. I don't know who this is and we'll find out, but there's, um, there's an, ev an evolving here. I just heard um, choose new, please evolve and take flight. Okay, choose a new, please evolve and take flight. So somebody's choosing to come after you. Okay, so we have the nine of pentacles. What's going on? This person is showing up here independent and single. Single is a Pringle. Um, thriving they're thriving right now um financially okay this could be you there's there's virgo energy maybe you're connecting with a virgo okay yeah there's healing happening here um sense of peace regrouping and recuperating so i feel like somebody's getting over some kind of fears this fear of abandonment this issue that they have um, they're getting over this. They're getting struck by the love bug. They're getting bit by the love bug here. And I, it feels like somebody here, this might be somebody new. I don't know who it is. They're completely single. So 
if you're already in a relationship with someone um, and you two are a, a couple, this is not that person. Okay, and this might not even be your reading. This is coming across to me as someone, maybe you're in separation from them, or this could be somebody showing up new in your life. Okay, so let's take a look. All right, somebody here. Oh, okay. They keep a lot of secrets. Um, they hide their fear. Um, they're they're very codependent, and they and they hide these these codependents. This person hides their they have abandonment issues, um, and because of that, they uh, hold on. Um, when you walk away, this person comes after you. Um, when you leave, this person uh, they you don't get very far. They're just I'm hearing they're saying you don't get you don't get very far. Um, it's weird Ugh, you're not gonna you're not gonna get away from me oh my goodness what the heck is going on here this person secretly okay they want to talk to you somehow they they are talking to you they're communicating to you in their heart in their mind through their soul you might be connecting with this person in the 5d there's communication that's happening they're talking to you this person is it's communicating with you in some way and when I say communication I don't necessarily mean words they're communicating through the mind thoughts that's what the sword is um, or they're communicating in other ways other than speaking to you okay um, and especially in August you're gonna catch on to this if not right now okay this person there's a lot of quiet energy here so the communication that they're having communicating through their dreams to you This person has got you on your on on their mind here with the Nine of Pentacles. That's your card. What are they communicating? Okay. They're trying to tell you something. What is this person trying to tell you? Especially when they're asleep. Okay. They meditate, they pray, and intentionally send you uh, messages. Um I don't know if you can hear them or you're connecting. You can connect to this person. Um, it's almost telepathy in some way. This person might be, might have, um, oh gosh, yeah. This person has um, spirit guides or there's spirit guides that are speaking to you coming from this person. Um, like there's divination. That's what I mean. This energy is playing out in some way uh, this person is uh, sending divine messages to you if it's not through the mind it's in some particular way they're praying for you they're saying prayers they're praying for you they're praying to be with you they're, this person is um, praying for growth and, and healing but I feel like they're trying to manifest love between the two of you does I feel like this person um, has faith that you will hear them or you will connect with them or you will see them in some way they're trying to stay in your periphery in some way or, or keep you from forgetting about them which is interesting okay it's, it's very interesting I don't I don't know if that's creepy or, or what that is. Okay. Yeah, this person is like completely isolated right now. They're restricted and I feel like they can't, they're paralyzed. They can't, um, they're silenced. They can't connect with you for some reason. I don't know if there's a blocking perhaps, but they can't connect in the regular 3D, like reaching out um, at this time. So, they're finding other ways around to connect with you, okay? Um, they're very restricted. Yeah, look, locked here. This person holding on, not letting you go. Definitely codependency is happening here, um, or just extreme dependency. Um, hmm, hoarding, possessiveness, okay. So I do see that there was healing though, healing the inner child, having growth. 
Um, this person's conflicted, you know, because I feel like they don't want you to leave because they're they're still growing. They don't want you to give up on them. But at the same time, they know they need to make these changes, but they don't want to let you go. So they're still finding ways to keep you around. Oh my goodness. Okay, we have the Emperor, so there's Aries energy here, okay? Mm. This person views obsessive possessiveness um, as a form of protection. This is their way of protecting you or keeping you safe. They're protecting you. What the hell is going on? This person could be police or... Um, in some type of military protective type of situation here just for somebody here that's a specific message but they feel like as long as they have some type of access to you they can protect you in some way but what are they protecting you from what is this person trying to protect you from Okay. They view it as protection. You might not view it as protection. You might view it as like possessive control, but they don't. Even though that is what I feel like they're displaying, um, this almost feels like a stalker kind of thing. I don't know. I guess it you have to be higher level, I guess, to really understand this person. But I feel like they're protecting you from um, energies. They could come towards you and hurt you, um, like people who don't mean well for you to you, who don't mean well for you. So, in some sense, and I'm really digging into this person's psyche and soul, in some way, uh, this person doesn't want you to be with anybody else. They don't want you to connect with anyone else. Um, they want to protect you from people that may try to come in um, with this Knight of Wands energy. Uh, players. Um, people who could hurt you. Who could be reckless with your heart. Um, someone who could be very um, flirty and sexual. And um, like a player in some way. Okay. Okay. King of Wands, they're protecting you from maybe even themselves. <laughs> this is such a psychological reading and I hate it. I hate it. It's so, um, it's just deep. <laughs> Why can't we have ever have like real simple readings? They're either protecting you from themselves or they're trying to protect you in some way uh, by um, a, a, a fire sign. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or they are that sign. This, it feels to me like, um, I'm hearing the message, don't, don't, don't go with anybody, I'm coming, just, yeah, this person, you're like a wish come true for this person. Um, you're it for them. You're it for them. Okay. Um, You fulfill all their deeds, their dreams, the things that they wish for, the things that they want um, for themselves with you. You fulfill all that. They don't need anything else. Look how his arms are crossed. The, this person is, is not, um, okay. They're just giving me some trophy energy here. Is this person, all right, I gotta ask. Is this person, is this a bad energy? Is this a bad energy? Oh. Mm. I don't feel like it's a bad energy. No. I feel like this person, they're protecting you from somewhere they will be, okay, coming forward. I don't know how to articulate this, you guys, but it, it just gives me the sense that um, this person wants either to come home or... Um, Okay, they, they don't want you to marry that person or be get in the relationship with that person. I feel like this person is trying to tell you that um, 
whoever you're okay whoever you get involved with going forward they're trying to tell you that um stay away from that person but they're not saying it they're just trying to keep you focused on them so you don't um go with this next person um and and do you have anybody with you right now i don't know you could be meeting somebody in august Okay, this is a very convoluted uh, <laughs> message here. It almost has an essence of a creep factor. Okay. So I don't know why I'm channeling this person's energy about somebody else, but I, because usually I will give the message from spirit, but I feel like I'm channeling someone here who you may know of or knew of before um i'm channeling them and it feels like um they're trying to tell you watch out for this next person they only want you for uh sex <laughs> um for some of you this might have been somebody you were involved with in the past that um, passed away okay who's watching over you mm even if you didn't care too much for that person. Um, whether you did or you didn't, and I feel like this person is like protecting you in some way. And, and for others, there is um, another person here who is trying to connect with you without directly. They're connecting with you indirectly, okay? They have a, a sense of loss, um, but they don't want to let you go. Okay, this person does not want to let you go. This is such a spiritual reading. Whatever happened to the shit stains and the, you know, bloody stumps? I don't know, but lately I've been really channeling some very um, sp strong spiritual, um, higher level stuff. And uh, I don't know what's going on. Okay, yeah, um, this person is just, they've got their eye on you. Oh gosh, they're trying to get you to come back to them or to connect with them. This person, um, tell me about the surprise invitation or this meeting. Okay, patience and apathy and love. Huh, it's interesting. These are both energies of like disinterest. And then you have the two of cups. Okay. I see this person coming to you in August in a loving way. Okay. Could be a Cancer, um, could be another Virgo. I see them coming to you in a very loving way, but at the same time, they only come in as the Two of Cups. They kind of show up as well with this. Um, it's weird. They come in simultaneously with indifference towards love, yet coming in in a loving way. And I don't understand that. Um, I don't understand what that means. It's almost as if this person is showing up here, inviting you somewhere, or wants to meet up with you. Okay, they just said, this person shows up with love, wishing for commitment, wanting to have this connection with you, but giving you the impression that they don't. Um, don't be fooled by this, Virgo. Okay, don't be fooled by this. Um, this is a mask that this person wears. Um, it, it causes a little bit of dissonance because I feel like when you connect with this person in August, there will be a feeling of um, this person coming towards you
with emotion and also desire to work together and either have a commitment or that leads to marriage but at the same time oh they're giving me and now they're giving me a different message they're saying no they are coming in with a desire to work towards friendship to and and progression of a relationship here starting out with unity and love they feel you're compatible to each other but then it's rejecting other love offers that's what it is rejecting other love offers and showing effort to um commit to commit to commit wanting to be with you uh they just said tell virgo not to go with that other person okay tell virgo um to have patience um this relationship is going to evolve to the next phase okay um this person is not going to let you go and a little bit towards the end of the reading here i'm going to take a look and try and see who this person is okay to be more specific with signs i know i've given you a few um all right there's you okay look waiting forward planning hard work paying off okay i feel like this uh, having foresight and and i that's what i feel like the message here is um it's so simple yet it's so complex not speaking to you but in some way trying to keep you in a position where you don't forget about them wait um have faith love is coming and and somehow they're connecting with you like i said um you can hear them or you can feel their energy somehow and i i don't know how that is uh, because it just it feels like um it's like the wind it feels like it, it's like a feeling of the wind but you can't see it and you can't describe it there's no description for it because it's invisible but you can feel it and that's faith that's a that's a faith and i feel like that's when you feel that breeze um, that's your your person saying i know you can't see me right now but this is me telling you to have faith i'm coming love is coming we're going to connect i know there's hesitation right now but um don't go with that other person that's what i'm hearing because they're going to hurt you that's what i'm hearing okay yeah have faith have strength okay we will be together things will culminate into a into our final destination together this is such a weird message and the hermit search your soul do you love me you still love me i still love you you still love me i still love you okay well that's great this is just a very spiritual message i'm not even listen i'm i cannot i i, I must be confirming something for someone because i don't feel any need to tell you what to do or how to handle a situation here i just feel like i'm channeling either someone from some 5d messages i'm channeling some 5d messages i don't know if i've even ever done that before but i need to get a little more clarity i just need to know a little more what's going on here it's a weird one you came closer than anyone i want to tell you how i feel but right now i can't i'm trying to tell you through some type of telepathy or uh, maybe some weather events <laughs> that's weird they're just saying weather events someone's undergoing a spiritual trend yeah this is a very spiritual message there's an awakening happening i don't know who they're trying to, to protect you from i don't know if it's anyone in particular or um someone that hasn't shown up yet in your life okay firm boundaries are needed right now i feel like that's what they're saying wait wait for me but put your boundaries up with somebody else here because somebody coming i'm the one who loves you i'm hearing i'm the one who loves you i care about you i love you please don't leave please wait i said wait earlier and that's the message that i'm getting and this person's going to chase after you they don't want you to go with someone else 
and they're trying to keep you remembering them, which is, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. All right, twin flame just popped out right here. Okay, this must be a twin flame connection. This is your twin flame and twin, your twin flame, that's it. There you go. Um, twin flames talk to each other um, through energies like this. They have these conversations without actually speaking to each other. Oh, there's a duality between you and this person. The yin and the yang, a coupling. You know, there's an understanding. You don't, you don't need to talk to each other um, in the physical sense to have actual verbal communication. You have nonverbal communication. There's nonverbal communication happening between the two of you in some form, and it's both of you are somehow still connected, even though you're not together. You may not be together. Deep, y'all. Deep. This is deep. Okay. I just want to get a couple of... Okay. Wow, the moon. You will be guided through the darkness. Interesting. We've got some... Something here. Oh. You know that moon energy brings us this uh, light. Uh, the full moon tends to bring us this light that we can't fully make out what it is that we're looking at. Oftentimes, but we can kind of look at the things or the objects or the ideas or the conceptual thoughts that a little light begins to get shed on these things and we can try to make these things out and I feel like the moon can be deceiving at times because it doesn't illuminate the entire process or the entire thing so it's kind of like feeling your way through the dark but the moon will shed some light as you go through this darkness as you uh, walk through this dark place unknowing not knowing what's happening or not knowing what this or understanding what is this communication this nonverbal communication that's happening that you can't understand and you think you're maybe losing your mind <laughs> this information I feel like is being is coming out to you okay you're being seduced by passion passion and romance await okay you're being seduced by your twin flame Your twin flame, <laughs> the chimera, imagination, clouding your judgment. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, the moon. So when the moon shines on a chair in the middle of the night through your window, it just gives you kind of like an outline, a little bit of the chair. You, even, you may know it's a chair, but you can't really see it very clearly. So your imagination kicks in and fills in those gaps. Okay. Um, I just feel like your twin flame is calling to you here and you're walking through the dark here and you don't know which direction you're going. This is heavy. It's a little bit like that beginning of that reading. Okay, the black cat. Your luck is soon going to change here. Something's going to change here. There's going to be a shift. Okay. And um, I feel it for sure. Clarity is going to come to you, but it might not. And I just feel like at this time, there's almost a bit of a warning here from your twin flame. Um, through the 5D. Don't go with that person, place, or thing. I just heard that song from Simple Minds, Don't You Forget About Me. Don't you forget about me. I don't remember all the words. Okay. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you this romance. Okay. You deserve love. You do, Virgo. You deserve love. They're Sagittarius. They just said Sagittarius. And I I don't know if that's the person you're going towards or if that's your twin flame. Um, but 
there is a twin flame, and I keep saying it, who is trying to uh, speak to you, and they want you to hear them. They want you to listen. Explore your feelings about this twin flame, how you feel about them. You know, you guys, I say it all the time. Actually, somebody said it in recently somewhere. Um, soulmates better than twin flames. Well, so soulmates are easier than twin flames. Twin flames trigger a lot of things within us. Our twin flame will trigger things because they're a, a reflection of us. Soulmates, not so much. Soulmates were too individual, independent. Twin flames tend to get into codependency, codependent relationship, or it can evolve to that. Soulmates are like, we could not see each other for 10 years, and then we can reconnect. We don't have intense feelings towards each other. It's very easy to be with each other. They're much easier. Twin flames, five minutes away from each other, and separation anxiety kicks in, and it's, it's awful. Um, twin flames trigger those dark places within us that um, need healing, you know, and um, even if you think your twin flame is uh, not feeling those things, I can tell you that the, the, the things that you're feeling with your twin flame, your twin flame is also feeling those same things. And there's a bit of a mirroring energy, okay? That's why you are and if this reading is for you and it resonates, that's why you may be hearing or seeing things and you're not able to make sense of it because that is what's happening. Um, I guess I, I kind of liken it to, you know, when twins, when, when twins are in separation, real twins, um, when they're away from each other, they can feel the absence of each other. Um, they can sense each other real twins so uh, they're they're one they're as one um, they were split from the same thing um, kind of like twins right and I'm not talking about well, I guess it could be if it's kind of no the twin flame yeah, it, well, actually, I don't know really if we were to look at it scientifically but or biologically, in biological terms, but I feel like the, the twin flames, they, they, they separate in the, at their core. And they're always meant to be together, though. All right, let's see. This was a deep read. Tomorrow, I hope it's just real simple. All right, we have Year of the Pig, Year of the Horse, we have a year of the rat. We have a dog. Oh my goodness. I say an ox. Okay. Dragon. Oh, dragon twice. I think I said skip that. We have a monkey. And rat again. Ox again. And a goat. Okay. Interesting. So if that resonates for you, if you know your twin flames, Chinese sign um, that could be a message there for you all right let me just get a couple of charms let me see if I can have a little more insight into this okay we have Libra and Aquarius there's Leo okay we have Gemini <laughs> and I saw Scorpio okay all right, somebody, all right, we have the ages between 35 and 40. Okay, somebody's born in 69. Um, okay, September 3rd, 10th, the 11th. Oh my goodness. September 8th, someone's born in 83. Okay. Okay. Oh, we've got a crab, so... We're definitely checking out a cancer here, looking at a cancer. And, oh, okay, we have a little Tweety Bird, so that feels like Twitter. That even looks like that little twi Twitter bird. Okay, something to do with Twitter. And then we've got a wing. We've got a wing. Maybe you'll find a feather or a wing or you see one. There's the cherub again, you guys. 
So we have a cherub here. And then we have, ooh, skull and crossbones. So there's possibly something toxic or some maybe it's a tattoo or somebody's got skull and crossbones somewhere. Okay. And then we've got a moon, a crescent moon. And I was talking about that crescent moon right here. Okay. Um, you can't make... Right now they're saying any snap judgments because you don't have the full light of the moon. You don't have, you have to go within. You have to trust your instinct. Don't make any snap decisions about anything I'm hearing right now, okay? Because um, you don't have all the information. There's a piece missing. There's a bite mark out of that moon. <laughs> There's a piece missing. Um, I'm just hearing... <sighs> Right now, you need to exhale and breathe out. You need to say, I'm not going to put my energy into this situation right now. Um, I'm going to refocus my energy elsewhere. I don't know what's happening. I don't understand. I'm trying to give you a little clarity for the messages that I'm getting. Um, and I'm going to put a disclaimer at the end of this reading, of course. But I feel like there are some unknowns. And I feel like you're someone is trying to channel to you some truth uh, uh, I don't know if it's truth it's to channel a message to you about it's your twin trying to talk to you through other means okay Leo Scorpio and Aries now, if I don't call if you know who this is and I don't call your person's sign please don't think the message is not for you it would just be more specific to someone here who may need to hear it. But obviously, if you, you have this message, somebody needs to hear this. You know what, you guys? I'm going to go exhale myself and take a long breather. Here's my disclaimer. And I, I feel like now I have to keep saying this. Maybe it's because I just recently watched um, the Ted Bundy, um, a Ted Bundy thing. But listen... Um, if you feel like or sense that you are in an emotionally, physically, or verbally abusive relationship, that is not your twin flame, or that is not something you should be considering, okay? Um, and I'm not talking to you in this reading, okay? And if you're not sure that you've been emotionally, verbally, or even physically abused, then it's most likely you have because that's how abuse works to confuse you. So if you're not sure, the fact that you're even thinking possibly you might have been, that would tell you that you were because people who are not in them never question if they are or not, okay? And I feel like if you're sitting in a position here where this sounds like something you're resonating with yet your person is abusive, there's no tarot reading for you. You need to remove yourself from that situation because you're never going to get that clarity until you get out of it, okay? And I just want to say that disclaimer, right? Because I know there's some of you that may be in something that you just don't understand or you're confused. Don't let, I don't want you to become more confused if you think that you might have been in or are in something like that. You probably have been. Um, just the mere fact like I said that you would even consider that is a red flag in itself I don't think you need to dive into self-help books or more learn more and more I think you need to like pull out like um, an 18 year old who had just had sex for the first time I'm talking as fast as you can okay so I'm gonna leave that message there I know that was kind of um I don't know what that was. I, I felt a little, I felt like a little uh, Whoopi Goldberg energy happened in there, like in Ghost. I don't know. So I'm going to, I don't know, maybe I'll just go have um, a cup of tea, just try to relax, get this out of my system. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Love you. Take care.